Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Glad you could make it. Thanks for joining me. I'm just saying my piece and this is another episode of Building Your Dream House in Jamaica. And in this episode, we're going to talk about steel or rebar in columns. And we are talking about your traditional column. And as usual, I would like to ask you to like and subscribe to the videos. A lot of you who do watch the videos and you do like them, but sometimes you sort of forget to hit that like button. If you want want to get more of my content then it's a good idea to also hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell if you do hit the notification bell then whenever the videos come out you will get notification of them being out if you just hit the subscribe button but not the notification bell you may or may not get your notification that I have new content so thank you very much guys thanks for subscribing and now back to the video we are going to continue with building the 26 by 22 rectangular structure that we have designed and we're just going to give you a basic breakdown of the amount of steel that you're going to need for the traditional columns now I emphasize traditional columns because in a single story building these columns are absolutely unnecessary and as I have said I will show you a better way of building without these types of columns where the structural integrity of your building will not be compromised but you will in fact use far less steel in your construction so in this particular building there are going to be 10 columns there will be four l-shaped columns and there will be six t-shaped columns each l-shaped column will consist of eight rebars eight lengths of steel and each t-shaped column will consist of 10 lengths of steel now since we are going to make this building a little taller than normal we are going to make it nine feet from floor to ceiling therefore we are going to have to use nine feet of steel for that section of the wall additionally there will be 20 inches of overlap above the ceiling level Level, and 24 inches of steel going down into the foundation level. That gives you a total of 12 feet 8 inches of steel for each rebar. So what we are going to do, we are going to calculate the total amount of steel, the total length of steel that you will need for each rebar cage. In your L-shaped rebar cage, you are going to have 8 lengths of steel. And and since each length of steel is 12 feet 8 inches and you have 8 per rebar cage, you will have a total of 101.33 feet give or take for each rebar cage. So since in this example there are four rebar cages, L-shaped rebar cages, then the total length of steel needed for those four rebar cages will be 405.33 feet approximately. Now using the same calculation for your T-shaped rebar cage and given the fact that your T-shaped rebar cage will have 10 lengths of steel you will end up with a total of 760 feet for your six rebar cages that you will need in this example so you will end up with a total of 1165 feet of rebar that you will need for your 10 rebar cages to make your 10 columns since the rebars come in 36 feet length. If you divide your 1,165 feet of steel by 36, you will end up with 32.36 pieces. So approximately 33. Now you must keep in mind that your overlap is going to be 20 inches wherever you do need to have overlap. So this is just an approximation and not an exact calculation. Now, if you're absolutely sure that you will not be putting a second story on top of this single story structure, because we have included these very, very strong columns on the presumption that you may want to put a second story on, and therefore we are making the structure strong enough to hold that second story. But if you're absolutely sure that you will not be putting that second story on top of this single story structure, then you can in fact reduce the length 
of steel from uh, 12 feet uh, 8 inches to 12 feet flat now what that will do is allow you to get three exact lengths of steel 12 feet long from a single 36 foot length of rebar now you will be using 5 8 rebar that's the standard rebar that is used in jamaica and which is your 12 millimeter rebar and that is generally sold by the ton one ton is generally acknowledged to be 62 pieces of rebar so you are looking at approximately half a ton total for this build for the number of columns that you're going to use now this is simply for the columns you are going to need rebar also for your foundation and you are going to need rebars for the walls as well well that was basically it for your traditional columns hope that was helpful Helpful. Hope I was able to teach you something about calculating rebars for traditional columns in a traditional concrete building. Any concerns, any questions that you may have, anything that you think I did not explain as clearly as I could or should have, do not hesitate to put them in the comments below. And uh, thanks for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and share the videos. And you all have a great day.